Hey, my name's Brad Sodded. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be unboxing April's BoxyCharm and trying it on my face. And today's video is also sponsored by Native, which I'll be telling you guys a little bit about later on in the video. So yes, here we have just the regular base BoxyCharm. We're going to unbox it together, see what's inside, and then I'm going to try it all on my face. I feel like we kind of haven't done just like a normal BoxyCharm unboxing in a little while. Have we? I don't know. I can't keep track of things. If you'll notice, the plant is very conveniently scooted over top of the little pegboardy thing again because I also couldn't keep track enough just to change the the, 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 the letters. I could do that now. I could. That is something I could do. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on into this box here. So BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription. They have like 7,000 other ones that you can get that come like every three months, every two years, every six seconds. I mean, not really, but it seems like there are so many of them. But this one is the regular base box. It is $25 every single month. And here's just to get five full-size items. Paper. Bubble wrap. Ooh, Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona. All right, uh, so the first thing I pulled out here is a Natasha Denona palette, but uh, I'll set that to the side and we'll check out some other stuff here first. All right, so we have our little card here for the month that'll tell us everything inside of the box and the full size price. And it has candy on the front. I like candy, candy good. All right, the first item that we're gonna talk about in here is the Terre de Mars. And uh, I don't know what language that is in, but for some reason it makes me think of like the land of Mars or the terrain perhaps of Mars. I'm sure that's very wrong. I can't believe it. I'm never right about anything. But this is the 008 Redition Body Cleanser. What redition mean? I'm not certain I've ever heard that word in my life. Oh, it has coffee in it. It has coffee extract, which is an antioxidant. It has verbena to tone and aloe vera to moisturize. Apparently it was certified organic. I was really hoping on here they would tell me somewhere what like redition meant, but they don't. So my phone's dead or else I would look it up. Looks like it's got some like lipstick or something on the outside of it. Okay, apparently you can't twist the cap off. Oh, it smells really nice. Kind of has like an herbally scent to it, a little bit like lavendery, which I think they've literally said lavender is in here. So uh, yeah, it smells pretty good. I'm sure it's a nice cleanser. Okay, next up in here, it looks like we have another face care item, and this looks incredibly familiar. Did we get this in our boxy charm before? Where's my box of stuff? Oh, so this is from Earth Harbor. The one that we received before is the Marina, but this is the Aurora. This is a superfood luminance ampoule. Plant-based, no GMOs, vegan, cruelty-free, fair trade, sustainable, no gluten, gluten added. Ooh, I was assuming it would be green, and it is since it has sea greens in it. It's just a nice little glass jar with a little, you know, blopper, dropper. That's strong. That smells like pure one. The next thing we have in here, oh, okay. We have something from Dragon Beauty, which is Nikita Dragon's makeup line. I don't think I've ever actually purchased anything from her makeup line, but I have received several items in like subscription boxes and stuff. There are a lot of like color correctors in things. This is the Dragonfire color corrector in the shade Lavender. And I am not at all well versed on how to use things like this. It looks really pretty though. The um, packaging of it is really nice with the little like white cap and the lettering. And then finally the last thing we have in here is from Laura Geller. This is the Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick. I honestly don't know if I've ever heard of a baked lipstick before. That's very strange to me. Um, this is a metallic lipstick in the shade Battery Park Bronze. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's artisan baked pigments and rich moisturizers to saturate the lips with metallic vibrant color that feels weightless. So the pigments themselves are baked and not the lipstick. I was really wondering how that would work. It feels really nice in the hand, like the packaging feels pretty good. And I think it's also magnetic, which it is. That's very nice. It's just a nice like matte black tube, but it does feel pretty high quality. Oh my. That looks very dragon-esque as well. Um, so this is like a bronzy orange <laughs> lipstick with some scales on it. All right, and finally, let's check out this Natasha Nona palette. I saved it for last because I'm sure this is supposed to be like the big item inside the box. Okay, so this is the Jubilee palette, and I don't know if maybe they wanted it to look like Easter, but this looks kind of like Easter in a palette, and I'm just, this is, this is not the kind of color scheme that I would imagine <laughs> going together. Like, I could see, like, okay, maybe, like, you know, if you did that, those could kind of go together, and then, like, I don't know, it's a little bit dusty and dirty too, I gotta say. There's a lot of like pink shadow like all over the place. Just a very odd assortment of colors, not something that I would put together. I, I'm just, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I just, I honest, I just don't, I just don't like, I don't like the colors very much. And also like to send it with this bronze orange lipstick. I know the things in BoxyCharms like don't have to go together, 
but it would be kind of nice if they were at least a little bit complimentary. But this doesn't look very good together. Before I move on to pricing and the try on portion, I would love to tell you all about today's sponsor, Native. Today's video is brought to you by Native. I recently have been trying to take care of myself better, and that includes like every aspect of self care, including deodorant. So I was looking for an aluminum free, clean deodorant that was not sticky, dried quickly, and smelled great. And fortunately, I found all of that with Native. Not only is it free of aluminum, parabens, and sulfates, but it's also cruelty free and vegan. And it's made with simple ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil. Some of the scents that I have been using and loving are coconut and vanilla, which has like a nice creamy sweet scent. And also some from the limited edition Jungle Oak collection, which includes fragrances like sandalwood and fig, which has a really lovely kind of herbaceous herbal fragrance to it. And also tangerine and citrus blossom, which just reminds me of summer and is currently my favorite. Native stays all day, so I don't have to worry about staying fresh at the gym, which I just started going back to. But back to would imply that at one point I was going to the gym. No, I haven't been to the gym in years, but I just started going to the gym and I'm very sore, but at least I don't have to worry about staying fresh during my workouts. They also offer clean and safe toothpaste and body wash so you can take care of all of you. Native ships free in the US and they have a great deal right now where typically three deodorants cost $36, but if you use my link in my code, which is Alexandria R, you will get them for $24, which is 33% off. And also with my code, you can get 20% off any toothpaste or body wash. Thank you so very much to Native for sponsoring this video and helping to support the channel. All right, you guys, so that was everything inside the box itself. I'm gonna give you all some full-size prices here. So we have the Natasha Renona palette, which is $48. Um, I just, I think for those colors, $48 is way, way, way too much. If this was a larger palette that gave you more like options and range or a more cohesive palette where you could like really get a full eye look out of it or several different eye looks. But to me, this, I just, I then we have the Earth Harbor Ampoule. Um, this is $32. The Dragon Beauty Color Corrector is $25. The Laura Geller is $21. And then we have the Cleanser, which is $22. Oh, dang it, my phone is dead and I lost the ice cream calculator like a long time ago. Oh no. Okay, so 48 plus 32. If you move the two to the eight, that gives you 50 plus 30, which gives you 80. $148 is what we're going with. That's what I'm, that's what we're going with, $148. Which for a $25 box is a pretty good value when you look at it. But again, always with subscription boxes, it's like value versus what you're actually gonna get like value out of it. For me personally, I don't think I'm gonna get much like use value out of a lot of these things. I don't really see myself wearing the orange lipstick or that weird palette. Um, I The cleanser, I'm pretty particular. <sighs> pretty particular. It's shampoo, but I use my shampoo when I like it. And I've never used a lavender color corrector. So for me, like value wise, it's use value wise, it's not a lot, but monetary value wise, it's pretty good, if that makes any sense. Um, that being said, because we are still doing a try on portion, I am going to try out a couple of these things and then maybe I can find some friends and family to pass them along to that won't care that I've Put them on my face. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do like the rest of my face because I don't really have anything else to try on besides eyeshadow, lipstick. Oh wait, no this. I do this. And I honestly don't know how to use lavender color corrector and I don't have my phone to look it up. But from what I know of like hair dyeing and things, you want a purple to kind of counteract yellows. And for some reason my skin around my mouth is kind of yellowish, so I might try it there and see if that works. Currently resisting the urge to paint a purple goatee. Kind of failing though. Hey, my name's Brad. Saw, dude. Oh, this doesn't break me out because this is like my, oh, oh. Yeah, this is like my trouble spot, like right here on my chin. Ooh, I hope it doesn't break me. So I've been using my regular double wear foundation, but I've also tried out this KVD foundation. I just dip like a little bit into my sponge and then use them kind of blended together. And so far I've been liking that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like that. Um, I thought it would just kind of cover it up and you wouldn't even be able to notice, but it's like making me a little bit gray around my mouth and I don't know if I'm enjoying that color. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the base of my face and then we'll come back and do some eyeshadow and try on some orange lipstick. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get on into this palette. Uh, I just, I, I just, I don't like it. I don't know. Every now and then you just don't like something. And I just, it looks like an Easter egg to me. I don't really understand the color selection. Like, I don't even think these are like super compliment. I, I just don't know. I don't, I just, not a fan. Personal preference though. Um, and since I have like things I gotta do today. I think I'm gonna avoid at least <laughs> these two shades, potentially the pink one as well, because I just, I can't be looking like an Easter egg today. I just, I can't. 
So I think I'm gonna go for this super exciting taupe here on the end, at least for now. I didn't set my eyes, and I can't remember if that's a good move with a Natasha Denona or not. I'm actually not like the biggest fan of Natasha Denona shadows, like in general. Um, I have a hard time working with them, to be fully honest. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, maybe I should have set my eyes because it is getting a little patchy already. All right, so I just smoked out that like warm taupey. It's kind of a pink shade, pinky orange shade. Uh, all over the lid. And I'm gonna try a little bit of this black here just to smoke it out on the outer corner and just see how that goes. <gasps> oh, it's not black. Oh, it's not even close to being black. What? <laughs> Plan B. I just, again, somebody else, okay. <laughs> I'm breaking out the old naked palette. Oh, won't be able to tell if that's freaking blue. You can. It still looks blue. Okay, I mean, I get it's still, you can, it's still kind of blue. <laughs> I guess the only thing I can do, honestly, is just put another little dash of blue over here and do the same thing. Okay, so the eyeshadow is done to the best of my ability. Um, I don't hate it. It's a muddy mess up close. Oh boy, is it a muddy mess. But I kind of almost like the blue a little bit with like that kind of pinky taupe shade. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it's fine from like a distance. It's okay. It, it'll, it, it'll, it'll, it'll do. It'll do. That'll do, donkey. But now let's see how it looks with a nice orange metallic lipstick. Oh, it's glittery. It's glittery and metallic and dry. Uh, I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but in real life, it is very glittery. It is very, very orange and I don't like it. Um, I really don't like how it applied either. It has like a super intense swoop, which actually made it difficult for me to put it on my lips. It's hard to get it smooth and it feels kind of dry and you can feel those glitters in there. Okay, so that was everything in my boxy for this month. Overall, I'm just, I not, um, I'm not super excited about it, to be honest. Uh, the palette is still not my favorite. This is a nice color. Maybe I'll reach this color again, but I feel like I have a lot of palettes with this color in it. The rest of this color palette, this makes a little bit more sense now that I know it's blue, but it gave me trust issues. It looks so black in this lighting. I'm sure if I actually saw it in like better lighting that it would look blue, but it definitely wouldn't look turquoise. If you're expecting to get like a nice deep, even navy blue out of this, no. No, no. Uh, so this palette, I doubt I'll be reaching for this again. I'm sure I'll let somebody else see if they would like to give it a go. Uh, but overall, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, um, I wasn't a huge fan of this month's box. But I'd love to hear all of y'all's thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you thought about this box down below in the comments. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye.